Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've been working with Divi 5 recently and exploring some of the Flex settings. They've employed Flexbox to it and it's great. There's a bit of confusion over it, but I've done a few videos on it. I like it. Now, somebody actually asked us if we could use it in a carousel or a slider. And well, not really, but there's a workaround but I can show you how to make different amounts of columns with your text within your slider. As you can see, we've got three in this one, two in this one, four in this one, and this is just a regular one with one in there. Really easy to do, so let's get started. I've got my Visual Builder open right here, so I can close down this page. Let's get rid of this slider and we'll start from scratch. I've got a section, the blue tab. In there, I've got a row, the green tab with a single column in it. I'm going to add a slider module. And just for your information, this will work with any text-based module. There's our slider. And it's not specific to just Divi. You'll be able to do this with Elementor or anything that's got HTML in it. Okay, well, here we are. Here's a regular slider. It throws in a couple of slides for us. I'm going to leave our original content there. I will separate that title a bit so we've got a bit more space between it and the content there. Let's go into our first slide. I'm going to delete the second slide. I'm going to go into my first slide over here. I'm going to leave everything exactly like it is because we're just going to focus on the content today. This title though, let's give it a bit more space. I'm going to go to my title text. I'm going to change the font to a blocky one called Anton I've been using, which will be up here in my recently used. Perfect. And I want to give it a bit more space, as I said, so I can do that with line height down below here. I'm just going to increment up with the little arrows there. There we go. We've got a bit more separation there between it and what I'm going to turn into the columns here. Okay, so we've got some content here. And perhaps we might like to change this into three columns. Let's go into our content. Let's go down here. We're going to click on the text tab. We're going to wrap this in some paragraph tags as it's paragraph text. If we go back to the visual and select it, you'll see that it's paragraph text right there. So if we put some paragraph tags here, and these are left pointy bracket, P and right pointy bracket, and we've got to close out the paragraph with a closing paragraph tag, which is the same thing, left pointy bracket, forward slash, P, and then right pointy bracket. And that's a closing tag. Now that we've done that, we can write a bit of code and split this into various different numbers of columns. So if we put the cursor on the right-hand side of the P there, make a gap, write the word style, S-T-Y-L-E, equals, boom, two lots of inverted commas there, in between the inverted commas, we can write CSS code. Now I want to split this into a column of three. It's really easy. I'm just going to write column, dash count, colon, and the number of columns you want, three. As you can see, that split that into three columns. And if you wanted to make a bigger or smaller gap between the columns, you can do so by adding another little code. Put a little semicolon there. Always need to put a semicolon between each line that you write here. Let's say column gap. Dash gap. And yeah, for argument's sake, let's say 30 pixels. As you can see, that's put a nice column there. If you wanted to justify the content, you could do that too. You could do it up in the styling for the text, or we can just write it in here. We can say text align justify and it'll justify the text first you can even up that number if it's not enough for you and if you wanted to put text left or text right just change the justify here to left you've got left aligned and i'm sure if you've figured it out if you write right you've got right aligned let's put that back to justify now if you wanted four columns i'm sure you figured it out just change this three to a four right there we've not got very much content here but we've got four columns right there. And two, yep, yeah, you guessed it. Just change that to a two. Got 
my T missing off my left there, so it's central justifying right now. <laughs> Let's put that back to justified. And of course, if you want to highlight a particular word or number of words, just go back to your visual. We'll do your content. Just bold it up. Very easy. And settings. Or design settings now that we've bolded that. How's that? You can do so just like that. Of course, once you've got it once, what I'd recommend for you for the other slide is just copy this first P tag to the end of the CSS, wherever you went to, to the closing and after the justified. Make sure you don't lop off any of those tags there. I copy that and I put it in a little notepad. And if you want to, you can copy that closing P tag. And it's really important you put these things in the right places. Control C to copy. And paste it into your little notepad. That way, when you create another slide, let's just create another slide. I'll say add new slide. You can just go in there. This time it's actually got P tags on there. That's kind of nice. And we'll copy the code from our notepad and paste it over our little P tag there. Select the existing P tag, or if there's no P tag there, just put your cursor in there. Control V to paste your style in there. And we've got our three little columns on this one. I haven't separated our title as much yet, but you know how to do that. Just design. Title text, line height, and just ramp it up to where you want it. And just so you can see the difference in slides, let's just change that background color out. And with our text, we already had a P closing tag in there. If yours didn't, when you put this in there, make sure and put one in there. It's a good idea. And you can go on, you can change the amount of columns. Like I say, this will work on any text module you like. Somebody was just asking about the slider. So let's save our changes, make sure this is all going to work on the front end. Let's save draft. And we'll preview. There's our little slider. First one's just got two little columns right there. And if I roll to the next one, I think we've got three on this one. And you do four, five, six, and you don't have to use text. Of course, you can add images to your little WYSIWYG editor there or mix and match. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. And I hope that's answered that question, how to change the columns of text within your slider or basically any text-based module this will work on. And it's not specific to Divi 5. It will work with all kinds of themes, anything that's based on HTML. I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. We'll make a little demo just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.